Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to part two of my City Skylines playthrough. Uh, last time I got the basic city going. Uh, this time I'll continue where I left off. Uh, since it's the same game I was already playing, uh, we have this handy continue game button, so here we go. Oh, there we go. The advice I gave last time, putting drain pipes downstream from water pumping stations. Kind of a no-brainer, but apparently it's a tip that they feel people need to get. Okay, here we are. So, I haven't played with uh, districts all that much, so I'm going to take a look in here. And you can do some uh, So you can do some interesting uh, things here. You can control policies based on the district. Um, there are, of course, need a fire station over here I think and I think I need one over here I think I also need a police station over here somewhere. Now, I find myself in a demand for residential zones, so back at it, creating residential zones. I'm going to put a wider road at this position as well, ultimately. So I went one extra there. Now, all the way over here. go far enough on that one so there we go and okay Right. Uh, 
Okay, let's rebuild that, but line it up right. Oh, I need to remove that too. Okay. 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 Means I can get rid of this temporary road here. Now, I'm starting to have a traffic issue here, so I need to
Okay. Well, that was a lot of fiddling around to get uh, more residential. I needed to sort out a traffic bottleneck over here. It was starting to back up traffic onto this um, um, T interchange here. You can see there's still a fair bit of traffic heading over into here. Ah, the trash is full. So I'll just build another landfill. Actually, I'll build two. And I'm going to empty this one so I can move it. I need to move it so I can expand this road a bit. Now, ah, got to a uh, busy town. And I have decorative roads now. And I can build bigger fire station and a police headquarters and the next level up I can build subways and the uh, high density zones okay Okay, so I'm going to speed this up again. Every time the milestone unlocks, the game sets back to the slow speed. Okay, I clearly need commercial. So... I'll manufacture some. something if you've noticed other play playthroughs or playing videos for skylines you may have noticed that the uh, background music and so on was really loud in those videos I've actually turned the uh, volume down substantially in the settings because of just that problem and besides I found it too loud in the first place so it seemed like a sensible thing to turn the volume down. I'm going to stow a park over here. And one over here. Think. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to add some buses here. Okay, I need more residential still. So, Okay, since I have highways now, I'm going to boost these. What I really need here is an interchange, but I'll deal with that another time.
Okay. <sighs> okay, I still need... Residential. Okay, so power is still good. Water is still good.
Ooh. Oh, now I can build subways. And high density stuff. Excellent. Oh, and the incinerator. That's good. That'll keep a lid on the trash problem. Well, I need another highway access, I think, over here. So I'm going to acquire that plot. Now, let's see. I'll acquire that plot too. Okay, so now what I can do, I can build can build a sort of interchange here. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to make use of the curving bit here. Now, I'm going to build a simple diamond interchange here. Okay. So that gives me a simple diamond interchange. Looks a little bit wonky, but it'll work. This illustrates a uh, nice feature of skylines, and that's you can have curved bridges, you can build things over curves, all sorts of things like that. I think I'll also, now oh, if I put that back on straight,
Okay. Let's upgrade. The rest of this. Or most of it, anyway. Okay, so what I need to do, really, is I need to turn this into an interchange. What I'm going to do build a temporary access road. Okay. Now, let's play with some intersections here. What's the spooey look like? pretty much what I want. Okay, I'm going to pause the game while I do that. Okay. It's a spooey interchange. Whoever made this thing was clearly uh, clearly demented, but hey, they made it. probably end up needing to change that for 
clover stack or something later. You know what, just for the hell of it. I'm gonna make this a Okay, I don't know what happened there quite, but... Something did, for sure. I think it was some sort of pop-up from Steam interfered with the operations of the screen recorder I'm using. Whatever happened, I ended up with a black screen of death type thing, and fortunately it came back, but uh, I was worried for a moment that I'd lost the uh, work up to this point. Any road, it's uh, working now. I just have to remember to save more often in case something like that happens again. Anyway, let's take a look. Power is okay, but getting on the edge. So I'm going to add to the power generation capacity Okay, so that should be good for that. Okay. Okay, so I was working on... Oh, right, yeah, I'd just been naming the... Uh, industrial area here. Now I'll probably bring the highway through this way, through this gap. Uh, for the moment though, Oop, no. Why that wants to build bridges? is beyond me.
Okay. Clearly, things are a little bit steep there. So... to follow the shoreline a bit. Okay.
Okay. That should get things ticking along a bit more here. Um, oh, I've got office zoning available now too. So some office type zones would be useful. So I'll add some of that. Okay, some offices. You note that offices fit in industrial in, in this one, as opposed to commercial. Not quite sure how I feel about that. I suppose it makes as much sense as anything else. Okay, what's the next, whoops, wrong button. What's the next milestone? 10,000. Let's let this run for a little bit, see what happens. Well, I'm going to save the game here. Now, I'm going to clear out this nonsense here. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's make the public transit free and we'll boost education. And give everyone free smoke detectors.
And we'll see where that equalizes the budget out. Okay, it equalized out on a surplus, so that's good. Now there's something that I'm going to do here. I'm going to set up a couple of incinerators. Okay. That should keep a lid on the trash situation for a while. Well, <clears throat> after all that excitement earlier and, and uh, things seem to be running smoothly now, but what I'm going to do now, I'm going to call this the end of part two. Yep, so that's the end of part two. Um, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'll see you next time in part three. Thanks for watching.